Welcome back as Wuthering Waves received a new update in the form of version 3. This update introduced a brand new region, Lahai Roy, as Rover journeys to discover what's happening in Star Torch Academy alongside new casts of characters like Linne and Monye. In this video, I'll be testing the game on my raw gala that comes with Windows 11, Radian 780M GPU. Unfortunately, this version of the game cannot be run in DirectX 12 mode on raw gala. This means we cannot use optiscalar frame generation. The game officially supports FSR 3.1 and even XCSS frame generation, but these two settings cannot be accessed on raw gala. This is very disappointing as the game's performance is severely limited by the CPU performance, especially in areas with a lot of NPCs. I will highlight this issue in the video. I tried using OptiScaler mod in this game on raw gala, game running in DirectX 11 mode. I was able to get the mod working, but when I tried to enable FSR 4 upscaler, the game simply crashed with a fatal error. To improve the game's performance on Ally, you can use frame generation techniques like AFMF 2.1 and LSFG 3.1. LSFG is part of a paid application called Lossless Scaling that sells on Steam Store for around 7 US dollars. Okay, first I'll show you how to access the game's internal lens settings. Game's profile won't pop up automatically in internal lens software. Just open the game's install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open client folder. Open binaries folder, win64 folder. Select the game's main exe file, client, win64 shipping. Right click, send to desktop, create shortcut. Go to your desktop. Yeah, this is the game shortcut file. Just need to add it manually to Adrenalin. Open Adrenalin software, go to its gaming section. Click on the three dots here, click on add a game, click on desktop, look for the game shortcut file, there it is, select it, click on open, open the game's adrenaline profile, watering waves, adrenaline settings, freezing on, vsync off, anti-lag on, AFMF 2.1 disable for the time being, first I'll show you the base game performance. This game's FPS is capped at 60 on Ally, can't go higher than that. I'll also show you LSFG settings, run lossless scaling, frame generation, type set to LSFG 3.1, mode fixed, multiply 2 times, flow scale maxed out, not using LSFG's performance mode, not using any of lossless scaling, subscaling algorithms, sync mode default, max frame latency 3, draw FPS setting enable, capture API, DXGI, Q target 1, clip cursor setting on, Hotkey combo for enabling LSFG, control alt and S, run as admin setting, enable, minimize that. I have set the UMA buffer size to 5 GB, my ally is running on BIOS version 3.4.2, install ally's latest official GPU driver optimized for Black Ops 7, using a 27 watts manual profile on 3 power value set at 27 watts, 720p resolution, CPU boost disabled, connected my FlyTG Beta 4 Pro controller to ally via Bluetooth mode, X input controller, ally restarted. Select Wuthering Waves, see in Steam, this will launch Steam. I'll use Afterburner to show you the performance stats, I have added it to my Steam library, launch it. And just close PC Game Pass app, not required. Afterburner is running in the background, go back to Steam, launch lossless scaling. It opened up, go back to Steam. Now launch the game. I am from India, connected to a 5GHz band Wi-Fi channel using their SE based server. In-game settings, screen mode set to full screen 720p resolution. Frame rate 60 can't go higher than this on Ally, we sync it's off. I have set everything to low with post processing effects disabled like motion blur, bloom, auto FPS setting disabled as well. Anti-lazing enable. Auto express setting on. That's it. Load it's around 75%. Yeah, this is the map of Lahai Rai. I'll test the game in Star Torch Academy area. Lot of NPCs. Yeah, we are in this rover. Even on low settings, lot of NPCs are present in this area. As you can see. Okay, FPS is within a range of 40 to 45. 
look at that GPU load 60 to 65% okay I'll just summon my bike there it is this makes the game very heavy on the processor we have PS drop to 36 oh my god this is so disappointing let's explore the area inside the academy we cannot use the boost feature of our bike can use it to jump around and yeah FPS drop to 30 see animation quality is looking so choppy 29 to 32 FPS this is so disappointing you can increase the settings you get roughly the same performance with the medium settings 64% GPU load the CPU is struggling struggling hard and oh my god FPS dropped to 24 not impressed with the game running on medium settings and just set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB increases the VRAM load and I'm observing some texture beg your pardon texture popping issue in the background ok now I'll test the game in another area open world area etching planes area load up yeah here FPS is close to 50 that's good to see again we are not hitting the GP bottleneck GP load is around 70% summon my bike traverse the area keep an eye on the FPS counter and yeah FPS drop to around 37 I'll use this ramp perform a stun boost look at that game is stuttering solving frame pacing issue ok I'll show you some combat as well stuttering again animals stuck here use the jump feature of my bike dismount spam my skills 30 to 35 fps so very disappointing performance on ROG LI base game performance is very bad not expecting frame generation to help much oh no <laughs> died just like that ok I'll just enable LSFG press LSFG hotkey combo control alt and s I'm in Star Torch Academy. There's Rover. Spinning the camera, just observe Rover's head. Yeah, it's flickering. But the UI elements are not flickering. That's good to see. So, minor artifacts produced when using LSFG. And I'll be honest, guys. There's some noticeable latency. It's expected as the base game performance is on the lower side 35 to 40 FPS. but 10 by 10 when it comes to the smoothing effect of LSFG animation quality it's not looking choppy just traverse the area keep an eye on the FPS counter FPS with frame gen 65 now you can see some latency the input delay when I move the stick its response getting generated on a display movement of my bike base FPS 25 <laughs> oh my god ok I'll test the game in <laughs> the open world area should be getting better performance than this etching planes area load up base FPS close to 50 FPS with frame gen 100 wow animation quality it's looking pretty smooth summon my bike expect the base FPS to tank yeah drop to around 34 still the animation quality is looking smooth FPS 90 oh no got stuck in the reverse team I'm looking for those NPCs there they are So good results produced by LSFG. Now I'll 
I'll show you how to use AFMF 2.1 just disable LSFG open the taskbar LSFG on scale close close afterburner as well I'll be using adrenaline's performance overlay to show you the performance stats open the game's adrenaline profile by pressing the hotkey combo alt and R yeah from here enable AFMF 2.1 status on green tick search mode set to high and this will prevent frame generation smoothing effect from getting disabled during fast visual motion performance mode set to quality fast motion response repeat frame and blended frame presets are present I tried using both of these presets it didn't help in reducing the boosting around rovers character model so it really does not matter which preset you select first I'll test repeat frame just press ctrl shift and o keys to activate adrenaline's performance overlay i am in star torch academy and just observe rover's head yeah very ugly ghosting is produced with afmf enabled when i am spinning the camera and just change the preset of fast motion response blended frame back to the game yeah ghosting is still present so it really does not matter which preset of fast motion response you use FPS it's very variable 70 to 80 AFMF does help in improving the performance but oh my god look at that ugly ghosting UI elements they are not exhibiting any jittering artifacts where to just use LSFG in this game but I'll be honest AFMF's latency is lower than that of LSFG I have to say summon a bike in game will exhibit some stuttering now VRAM usage increased to around 4 GB it's the night time FPS with AFMF close to 100 summon up by FPS dropped to 60 this is so disappointing Base game performance, it's very bad. Tag these things. Again, we are getting a very variable FPS ranging from 70 to 90. I hope the game's performance improves with the future updates. It really needs them. That's it with the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.